Today I'm going to show you how to replace the liner in your FX crown. First thing we do is extend the shroud here and then twist. Now it's possible to twist uh, the whole barrel liner off of right here, but you don't want to do that. Uh, so I like to just support it here and just make sure it's going to twist here, which it is. So we pull that off straight so we don't scratch up the barrel. And now we see the air stripper up here. And I can break this loose with a, an Allen wrench or screwdriver or whatever else is handy. And now we have an inner sleeve. And this is what kind of locks that barrel liner in place. So take a 10 millimeter Allen wrench and break it loose. And screw that, and now you see the barrel liner. So take your pliers, a piece of cloth, and just grab it and just start to pull that out. And now I can just pull this out. Now I see, uh, the first O-ring comes out. There are actually three O-rings in here. I'm just going to keep twisting it. Let's see if I can get them all out. Sometimes, a lot of times, they don't they don't come out. And the, they did this. so. We'll just turn and, and shake that. Yep. Okay. So there are other two O-rings. Don't dry fire the gun to get those O-rings out, or you'll shoot the the breech seal O-ring out, and then it's a, that's a pain to replace. Okay. So we've taken out the barrel liner. Uh, we're going to put in the new barrel liner. Now, if you want, if, if you change out barrel liners frequently, uh, it's such a pain with these O-rings because, like, like we saw there, they don't want to come out. Uh, there's a quick trick you can do uh, to help that. You can just actually put tape on either side of them, and that will keep them in place. Now, you don't have to worry too much about the O-rings here. They don't really provide you know, structural support. The barrel will work fine without them. What it does is help with you know, dampening the vibrations, as a, which is harmonics. Right? Harmonics has nothing to do with the sound, what you hear. It's how the barrel moves. So let me put this on here. Um, as the pellet travels through, it's got this burst of air, the pellet moving. And, and the barrels move a little bit too. So these, these O-rings help dampen that vibration. So we can keep these O-rings in place easily with a bit of tape on either side of them. Now the tape may leave a little bit of sticky residue. You can get that off with lighter fluid or, or something without damaging the barrel at all. Okay, now I've got tape on either side of each O-ring. You want to make sure that the tape doesn't uh, extend higher than the O-ring, so just a few, a few wraps to put it on. Okay, now when you put it in, this groove is what goes in first. And you ha this part's threaded, remember, so it's, it works better if you kind of screw it in past those threads. Each one, even with the tape. You don't want to be too hard on those O-rings. Then push it in, and you'll fill it, lock into place. You have about that much left. And now you can replace this sleeve. You don't need to tighten this down too much. You know, you don't want to bow the you know, bow the barrel and put too much pressure on that. Now we can put on the air stripper. So just screw that back on. Lock it on nice and tight with your Allen wrench. Again, you don't need to go overboard there. 
and then put the shroud back on. Now when you're putting this on, just uh, support it as it goes down so that you're not scratching up your barrel. Now remember, to you, you pull the shroud out and it locks into place, and then you can tighten that up. And that's all there is to it. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.